today we focus our attention again on two verses in the book of Philippians chapter 4, and we need to have an attitude of prayer. I want to talk to you about prayer this morning and why prayer is so very important to the life of our ministry. Look at Philippians 4, verse 6 and 7. Be careful for nothing. That means don't be anxious about anything. Don't worry about anything. Why? But in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Again, let me remind you that even though these verses can be generically applied to the life of every Christian, primarily these verses are to be understood within the local church context. The Apostle Paul is stressing to us that prayer is vitally important to the life of a local church. Do you understand how important prayer is to Canton Baptist Temple? I think we might say amen to that or we might sign the dotted line, but do we really truly understand how important prayer is to the ministry that we have here? You see, Paul is telling us to never underestimate the power of prayer in a local church. I have been pastoring now for 26 years and I am convinced more today than I ever have been that within every local church there is a spiritual battle taking place. Now I want to talk about something here for a few minutes. There is a spiritual battle taking place in every church. Sometimes that battle rages openly for all to see and then sometimes that battle takes place under the surface or we could say behind the scenes. But make no bones about it, there is always a spiritual battle ensuing in every church. That is true even right here at Canton Baptist Temple. I want you to understand that God is at work at our church. But I want you to also understand that Satan is at work here at Canton Baptist Temple. Look at Ephesians chapter 6. Back up, if you will, just one book in your Bible. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12. Paul writes, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Now, let me give you some observations from this verse. Ephesians 6 verse 12. A few very simple observations I want to give you. Number one, the, this verse certainly tells us that Satan is alive and well. Right? Right? And any of you that think that he is not, you are fooling yourself. Satan is real, and Satan is alive, and Satan is at work right now. We need to understand that. Secondly, this verse tells me that Satan and his demonic forces are actively waging war against the church. Do you understand that Satan hates the church of Jesus Christ? Satan hates Canton Baptist Temple and what we stand for here. The Greek word translated wrestle was used for hand-to-hand -hand combat. This is a real battle that we are engaged in. We are fighting Satan and we are fighting his demonic forces as they try to destroy the ministry that God has given us here at Canton Baptist Temple. Thirdly, this verse also tells me that Satan's forces of darkness are highly organized and they're structured to inflict intentional damage on the church. 
You read this verse and it talks about principalities and against powers and against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. This is a highly organized, structured battle that Satan is waging against the church. Satan wants to destroy Canton Baptist Temple. Do you understand that? By the way, he has been hugely successful in destroying churches all across America. Literally thousands of churches close their doors every year in the United States of America. We need to understand that this is a real battle. So that means that if you are a member of this church, you're part of this church family, you need to wake up to the reality that we are actively engaged in a spiritual battle. Spiritual battles can only be won with spiritual strength. You say, preacher, I want spiritual strength. How do I get that spiritual strength? Well, the spiritual strength that we so desperately need comes from our prayer life. We're back to prayer. That's where you get spiritual strength to face Monday morning, <laughs> Tuesday morning, Wednesday morning. The spiritual strength that you need comes from God. And prayer connects you with God. You see, the Bible goes on here at Ephesians 6. Maybe you're still there or you're back in Philippians. But look at Ephesians 6 because the Bible goes on and, and uh, here in chapter 6 and gives us not only the whole armor of God because we are in a spiritual battle, so we need armor. But then you go down and you find these words in verse 18. Praying always with all what? Prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Do you see the connection here? Because we are in a spiritual battle, we need to be in a constant attitude of prayer. Praying, what is the word? Always, with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. You say, how can I always be praying? The idea is to be in a constant attitude of prayer, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Mark it down. We will not, I repeat, we will not win the spiritual battle here at Canton Baptist Temple without the members of this church committing themselves to prayer. Prayer is vitally important to the life of this church. If we're going to win the battle, we need the spiritual strength that only God can give, and that strength comes from our prayer life.